So when I think about the 10 smartest physicists that I know, I would say half of them are convinced that quantum computing is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. This is going to be the technology of the 21st century. And the other half are convinced that even if you could build a quantum computer, which you definitely won't be able to do, it's never going to be more useful than your laptop is for anything that matters. There's a huge gap there between most useful technology ever and totally useless. A lot of the work we've been doing over the last few years has started to convince me that maybe, just maybe, there is a path to make really useful quantum computers in the near future. To figure out if that's true or not, DARPA wants to answer two really fundamental questions. The first question is, if I had a really powerful quantum computer, what could I do with it? And how transformative would that be? The second is, is there a commercial company or an academic group or really any group that has a path to really build that kind of machine in the near term, you know, in the next 10 years? If the answer to both of those questions is yes, that's really an earthquake in how we understand the technology advancement path. If it's really possible to build one of these and it really could be transformative, uh, that has profound implications for policy. If it turns out, as a, as a lot of us suspect, that that's really not possible and it really won't do something useful or there isn't a path, we need to know that too so we can be better planning our basic research funding going forward. And so DARPA is launching something called the Quantum Benchmarking Initiative. This is a major new government program that DARPA is spearheading to try to do exactly that. It is really hard to evaluate a top flight quantum computing company and to see if their approach really holds water, if they can really make it the distance to build an industrially useful machine in the near term. But we are going to build that world-class verification and validation team. And we really want to invite all comers, US and foreign companies, to come in if you think you have what it takes to get through our extraordinary verification and validation team, we would really like to hear from you. Is the hype real? Is quantum computing gonna change everything? Or is this really overblown and this is more of a basic science question that isn't gonna come to fruition until 2050 or 2060? That's an incredibly important question for the United States to answer and, and at DARPA we believe that we can answer that question.